America is a land of people. People who were normal. And America used to have presidents who were normal. Sometimes they were good or not so good. But they could always finish their sentences and not start civil wars. But after eight years of this, we finally beat Medicare. And this, and just generally feeling like we're trapped in a sadistic circus in the eighth circle of hell, it is time for America to return to normal. It's time for Kamala Harris. Just normal. Narrated by Jason Bateman, a normal guy. Kamala Harris checks all the boxes for what Americans are looking for in a normal president. I'm Kamala Harris, I'm running for president of the United States. We are a nation that was founded on noble ideals. But where did this unicorn of a candidate come from? Kamala Harris was born in 1964 in Oakland, California, a year that puts her squarely in the normal age range of American presidents. She was the daughter of two academics who met at school, a way that normal people meet their spouse as opposed to a party with sex ring billionaires. Her mother was from India, her father was from Jamaica, and that makes her both black and South Asian. Normal people understand this. I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Again, normal people understand this. Kamala's parents wanted the best education for her, but because they weren't absolutely loaded in a way that would make them believe they could live outside the laws of man and nature, young Kamala had to be bused to a desegregated school an hour away. It was an experience that always stayed with her, but not in a way that made her thirsty for revenge or obsessed with leaving a legacy that would outlast the universe. Just a normal, I'll put that into my autobiography kind of way. Kamala was admitted to Howard University, where she made lifelong friends like any other well-adjusted person you can feel comfortable trusting with nuclear codes. And she made ends meet working at McDonald's, a typical job held by millions of people. And just to be clear, she was working the register, not starring in bizarre fever dreams with Grimace and stealing jobs from hardworking professional actors who honestly could have used the gig at the time. After college, Kamala went on the normal trajectory for president. Law school, San Francisco District Attorney, Attorney General of California. Yes, early on she had a boyfriend help her get a job on the State Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board, but that's a very normal type of cronyism. And besides, it was an Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board do not act like you wanted that job. Grow up. Kamala rode her success to the U.S. Senate, where her time was mostly unmemorable, which is normal. Do you know what kind of freak you have to be to be a memorable senator? Machine gun bacon. <laughs> yeah. No, Kamala just did her job, including a famous grilling of Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Can you think of any laws that give the government the power to make decisions about the male body? I'm not a... I'm not a thinking of any right now. It was a brilliant performance that didn't stop Brett Kavanaugh from overturning Roe v. Wade, but a politician offering stirring rhetoric with disappointing results? Very normal, guys. After a respectable two years, Kamala decided to take the next step. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. Yes, a run for president in 2020. A decision so normal that it was done by over 70% of the Democratic Party. But despite showing voters her personal side by listening and reacting to music like a regular human as opposed to freezing in place or yanking off a pair of dicks on step ladders, Kamala didn't resonate with voters, and she dropped out before voting even began. I'm not a billionaire. I can't fund my own campaign. It was a move that exhibited her remarkable skill to view reality and react rationally. Wouldn't that be great? reacting rationally to an electoral defeat, wouldn't it? But before she quit, Kamala did have one great moment. You know, there was a little girl in California and she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. It was a takedown of Biden's support of school segregation so brutal that he reintegrated the White House and made her vice president. We did it, Joe. Kamala Harris became the first black vice president, the first Asian vice president, and the first female vice president. 
And yes, maybe that isn't normal for America, but did you know that in the other parts of the world, women are allowed to be leaders like all the time, so that's not on her. What are Kamala's actual policies? Just the vague ones you'd expect from a normal Democrat trying to get elected. Our fight is a fight for the future and it is a fight for freedom. Yeah, great. Sounds good, but at least they're gonna be normal policies. You won't have to learn about Project 2025 or Great Replacement Theory or whether a president can serve out his term while in prison. What the hell are we doing here, gang? I've been in episodes of Ozark less stressful than this. Of course, like any person, Kamala has her personality quirks and her time as vice president brought them all front and center. I love Venn diagrams. Do you know the three circles? Who doesn't love a yellow school bus? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the coconut thing, super kooky, right? So what? America has presidents with fun ant energy all the time. What about Abe? He wore the big hats, FDR, stamps, Reagan, jelly beans, pounded fistfuls of them, and they were all presidents who didn't cause Americans to shit themselves every five minutes. And that is the promise of a Kamala Harris presidency, a president who will not fall in love with a North Korean dictator, or have a family member whose dick pics end up on a congressional hearing, a president who won't clear up their COVID with horse dewormer and a spritz of Clorox, and one that can stay up past eight, a president who will eventually leave office, a president who won't have to flee to a non-extradition country if she loses. In other words, Kamala Harris will be a normal, president. Just a normal f***ing president.